Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this customized chain belt. These are just some tools that you're going to need. You're going to need some um, charms of your choice if you like to add charms to it. Also, some chains of your choice. I chose three different chains of three different sizes for my belt. And then you also are going to need some lobster clasp to close the belt together. Lastly, you are going to need either a jewelry tool set altogether or just some pliers. Also, all of these supplies are from Michaels. I've been wanting one of these chain belts for the longest and I thought why not just make it for myself. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this tool out of the tool set and these pliers out of the tool set. The first one is to cut the chain however long or how short you want it if there's excess. And the second one is to get the jump rings onto the belt so that um, you're able to connect the different chains together. So here I'm just sorting out where I want which chain where. Um, and then also be sure that you try on the um, first chain that you want on there so that it fits your waist properly. Here I'm just taking the lobster claps apart. I'm taking the jump rings out of the lobster claps so that I can use the jump rings to connect the belt together and also for the charms that I'm going to use on the belt. Be sure to leave at least one lobster claps um, together so that you can connect the ends of the belt together to get it on your waist. So here I was just sort of kind of figuring out about how long I want the chains and which chains I want where. You probably want to do this on your waist also. I had to learn that lesson while I was making this. And then using your pliers, you're going to take one of the jump rings that we took apart from the lobster claps and connect the second chain where you want it to meet with the first chain and shut it close. Easy peasy. <laughs> Once I got one of the chains attached to the first chain, I went in the mirror to check and see um, what it was looking like and if I liked it um, and exactly where I wanted it to end. Before you move on to the next chain, make sure you're double checking in the mirror with the belt on your waist exactly where you're putting the chains and if you like the way it looks. It's the same process using the pliers and the jump rings for as many chains as you'd like to add. So you're just going to continue this process. Um, you can add however many chains you'd like or, you know, customize it however you want to your liking. So this is what the belt started to look like once I got all three chains on there. <laughs> Um, if you look closely, you can see I cut the excess of the chain that was on there with the tool that I showed you guys earlier in the video. So once I was done with the chain, I pulled out the charms and I sorted the letters out to exactly what I wanted spelled out on the belt. And then you're basically going to repeat the same process, except instead of taking the jump rings and putting it directly on the chain first, you're going to take the jump ring and connect it to the opening that the charm has and then connect the jump ring to the belt. Customize it as much as you want to. Um, make sure you're being careful when you're using the pliers and the chains. If you do use thinner chains um, and you're a little rough with the pliers, it could end up breaking the chain. So be careful when you're choosing your chains and how you're using the pliers. Once you get the jump rings down packed, you can make anything, okay? <laughs> Once I got the jump rings down packed and knowing where to put which jump ring so that I can connect it to the chain belt, it became so easy. So towards the end, that last lobster class that you saved um, in the beginning, you're going to attach it to the end, same process with the jump rings towards the end of the belt. 
and this is what my belt looked like i was so happy i wanted one of these belts so bad but they're always like 30 35 dollars so i was like girl you can make your own okay so this is what the belt looked like um and i'm really happy how it with how it turned out um if you guys end up making this belt send me pictures to my instagram dm um you guys can find it on my page or you guys can send it to me on Twitter, wherever. If you guys end up making this, tag me in it, DM it to me, whatever. It's so easy. Once you get it down packed with those jump rings, you can definitely make it, okay? I will definitely be reposting those and checking those out. And thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.